secco is the Italian word for dried, and I'll explain in a minute why. Um, it was the first wine that he made. The difference with this wine is that it's 50-50 Rondinella Corvina, but we dry a portion of the grapes in, wait for it, a neighbour's prune dehydrator. Over a period of 10 days or so, those grapes go from fleshy, normal-looking grapes to, like, a bit, bit more succulent than a raisin. So they don't come out as dried as a raisin. They come out a little bit squishier than that. And then those dried grapes are added to fresh grapes. So they're put on the bottom of the fermenter. Yeah. And then the second pick of these two varieties, the fresh grapes, go in on top and they're co-fermented. The drying process modifies the tannins, but it still takes a long time for that wine to actually come into balance. So we don't actually release it. Um, before it's four years old in bottle. It's deceptively light in colour. So it's similar in colour to the Nebbiolo. So you put it in a glass. It's not a big deep red that you can't see through. Um, you can. And because of its age, it, it won't have what I'd call brown edges, but there'll be a... It, it's not a big purpley red by any means. The best match that I've ever had with that one was a slow braised veal neck and base jus for it was mushroom and star anise. And if you okay. go home and do that and open this, you'll know what I mean. It's a pretty so, good match. 